the big deal with the Kestrel, it's giving long range shooters an easy button. What I mean by that is we've taken what we used to go out and shoot dope, lay down, zero your gun at 100 yards or 100 meters, go back to 200, then to 300, and then you spend a lot of money and time gathering all this information up. Uh, use it at least with the military guys a couple of days to get the dope out to a thousand. And then you change lots of ammo and you have to redo everything. With truing and with the Kestrel, we can actually take three or four rounds, get these guns zeroed up. So now, within a box of ammo, we can take a 308, not only have perfect dope for that weapon system, which we use science to get that instead of several days of shooting, and then we can shoot all the way out to a mile. And that's within a box of ammo in five minutes. So the Kestrel has given us the ability to gather density out to correctly and quickly and maintain it and with the buttonology and the applied ballistics engine inside of it we can work so rapidly through shooting it's really just given us the capability to to get information quickly and i want to say perfect information because the bullet gives it to us we can apply it in the kessel kessel's lightweight uh one battery lasts 400 hours so it's not something that we have to manage like well it has a battery i could lose it uh, you got a better chance of losing your logbook than you do your kestrel so but yeah it, it's revolutionized uh, the industry one of the biggest advantages with the kestrel is the fact that i mean it, we, we can use a lot of things to get our density altitude but the wind is the big unknown when it comes to long range shooting so with the kestrel very quickly we can you know open up the impella Run it into the wind, know the exact mile an hour, and a lot of guys will think, well, wind at your position means nothing. Well, really, the wind at your position is the only known you have in this guessing game we call a wind call. The reality, yes, we have to call wind all the way to the target, but now we have a starting point, a known. I've been uh, working with the government in this uh, wind sense machine where we read wind at our muzzle, but it's reading wind all the way down every 100 meters, and I guarantee you I could take my Kestrel out and give them a wind call based off what was happening at the muzzle and probably outdid all the wind scent stuff for the last you know 10 years so but it's a great tool in that you can learn ballistics you can learn the effects of wind you can sit there and play with your kestrel and actually it's a great training tool for, for long-range shooters to understand the you know when you get a faster or a higher BC but it's a little bit slower because it's a heavier bullet how does that affect my wind calls so then you become knowledgeable with ballistics only from just playing with the kestrel all the information is right there you just start asking questions and listening to it so the nice deal is with the Kessel you know we can capture wind we can plug it in we can look at it but there's a lot of uh, other variables calibrating wind dots I need a Kessel to do that so we can calibrate the Kessels we can get our quick wind formulas there's a lot of instruments out there that will give me density altitude that's awesome I need wind huge part of the game is calling winds that's one of the biggest features Kessel has with it